They say it's still out there, a monster from the deep, a shadow that haunts our nightmares, a giant that escaped extinction, the Megalodon, lurking in the unexplored abyss, waiting to reclaim its throne. The internet is ablaze. Sensational headlines, blurry photos, proof that the ocean's greatest predator still lives. As a scientist, it's my duty to separate fact from fiction, and the truth is far more fascinating. Join me as we dive into the evidence, the real story of the Megalodon. We'll uncover its incredible life and expose once and for all why this magnificent giant is definitely extinct. The myth of the Megalodon is a powerful one. It taps into our primal fears, our fascination with the unknown. But beneath the surface of these sensational claims lies a different story. A story of scientific discovery and a truth that is both awe-inspiring and heartbreaking. Let's travel back millions of years to a time when our planet was a very different place. The oceans were a riot of life, a kaleidoscope of bizarre and wondrous creatures. And ruling these ancient seas was a creature of unimaginable size and power, Otodus megalodon. Not just a big shark, but a true giant, the largest predatory fish that ever lived. Imagine a school bus. Now double it. That's the size of a fully grown megalodon. Its teeth, each one a masterpiece of evolution, were up to seven inches long, serrated like steak knives, perfectly designed for tearing through flesh and bone. These weren't just teeth. They were weapons, honed by millions of years of evolution. Megalodon was a super predator, capable of taking down prey much larger than itself. Whales, seals, even other sharks, nothing was safe from its powerful jaws. It was a creature perfectly adapted to its environment, a testament to the power of natural selection. But the Megalodon wasn't just a ruthless killer. Fossil evidence suggests they may have been caring parents, giving birth in protected nurseries and teaching their young the ways of the ocean. Imagine these colossal mothers, guarding their pups in the shallows, a tender side to a terrifying predator. From the warm waters of the tropics to the cooler temperate seas, Megalodon ruled the oceans for over 20 million years. Their fossils have been found on every continent except Antarctica, a testament to their global dominance. They were the undisputed apex predators of their time, a true success story, or so it seemed. But even the mightiest empires can fall, and the reign of the Megalodon was about to face its greatest challenge. The world was changing, and the giant of the seas was running out of time. Our planet is a restless dancer, forever moving to the rhythms of the cosmos. During the Megalodon's reign, the Earth's climate began to shift dramatically. The continents drifted, ocean currents changed, and a new ice age began to grip the planet. As the planet cooled, the warm, shallow seas that served as Megalodon's nurseries began to shrink. Sea levels dropped and coastlines receded. The vibrant coral reefs, once teeming with life, suffered massive die-offs, transforming into ghostly, underwater graveyards. The whales, the Megalodon's primary food source, adapted to the changing conditions. They evolved, becoming smaller, faster, and able to exploit new food sources in colder waters. The giant shark, built for power and ambush, hunting in warm shallows, found itself struggling to keep up. Imagine a marathon runner suddenly forced to compete in a sprint in the freezing cold. Fossil evidence paints a grim picture. As whale populations dwindled and shifted their ranges, the size of megalodon teeth began to decrease over time. This suggests a direct link between food scarcity and the decline of the giant predator. They were starving. The once abundant hunting grounds had become vast, empty expanses. And from the shadows, 
new players emerged. The ancestors of modern orcas, highly intelligent and social hunters, began to compete with Megalodon for dwindling resources. These wolves of the sea hunted in packs, using their combined strength and cunning to take down even the largest prey. The playing field was no longer level. Alongside the orcas, another familiar face entered the fray, the great white shark. Smaller, yes, but faster, more adaptable, and able to thrive in a wider range of temperatures. They were the ultimate opportunists, and they were here to stay. The oceans, once ruled by a single sovereign, had become a battleground where many fought for scraps. And so, the mighty Megalodon, once the undisputed ruler of the oceans, began to fade. The combination of a changing climate, vanishing prey, and fierce competition from new predators proved too much, even for this apex predator. Each generation grew smaller, weaker, until the music of the ocean giant was silenced. But how can we be sure they are truly gone? The answer lies in the fossil record. These remnants of a vanished world tell a story, not of speculation, but of hard evidence. Scientists use a variety of techniques, including radiometric dating, to determine the age of megalodon fossils. And the results are conclusive. The youngest megalodon fossils ever found are around 3.6 million years old. There is no credible evidence, not a single tooth, dated to any time after that. No trace. They are gone. The Megalodon story is a closed chapter in the Book of Life. Their bones rest on the ocean floor, monuments to a vanished era. But the ocean itself, it teems with life. New species have risen to take their place. The great white shark, the orca, and countless others now dance in the currents where the giant once roamed. But what about the sightings, the grainy photos, the eyewitness accounts that fuel the myth of a living megalodon? Let's take a closer look. Many so-called megalodon sightings can be attributed to other large marine animals. The basking shark, for example, is a gentle giant that can reach lengths of over 40 feet. Seen from afar, its massive, gaping mouth might resemble that of a large predator. Similarly, the whale shark, the largest fish in the world, can grow up to 60 feet long. Its enormous size, coupled with poor visibility, can easily lead to misidentification. And yes, great white sharks themselves can reach impressive lengths, over 20 feet in some cases. But even the largest great white is still a fraction of the size of a fully grown megalodon. The difference is like comparing a large dog to a city bus. But what about the deep ocean, you might ask? Could Megalodon be lurking in the unexplored trenches, far from human eyes? While the deep sea holds many mysteries, it's an incredibly harsh environment, with crushing pressure, near freezing temperatures, and very little food. A large, warm-blooded predator like Megalodon would be ill-equipped to survive there. The Megalodon is gone a victim of a changing world. Its story, etched in the fossil record, is a powerful reminder of the interconnectedness of life on Earth. By studying these magnificent creatures, we learn not only about the past, but also about the challenges facing our oceans today. Climate change, overfishing, habitat loss, these are the same threats that drove the megalodon to extinction and they are threatening countless other species right now. The ocean is not a limitless resource. It is a delicate ecosystem that needs our protection. We have a responsibility to learn from the past, to understand the forces that shape our planet, and to act as stewards of the incredible biodiversity that still graces our seas. The fate of the Megalodon may be sealed, but the future of our oceans is still unwritten. We have the power to make a difference. By supporting sustainable fishing practices, reducing our carbon footprint, and protecting marine habitats, 
we can help ensure that the song of the ocean continues for generations to come. The Megalodon may be gone, but its legend lives on, not as a monster lurking in the shadows, but as a symbol of the ocean's power, its beauty and its fragility. Let us embrace the truth, not the myth. Let us honour the memory of this magnificent giant, not by clinging to fantasies, but by protecting the oceans they once ruled, for the ocean's heart still beats. And if we listen closely enough, we can still hear the echoes of the giants and the promise of a future they can no longer see.